Hi everyone, my name is Pras and welcome to Let's Play The Devourer Dead. So this is a game that was made for The Asylum 2016. And to be honest, I don't know a lot about it. Uh, only the fact that this is a point and click game may be a little bit scary. I'm not sure about that, but we're gonna try this out now and we're gonna see that. Because I want to share all of my experiences with you, even the bad ones. Let's begin. I did that before. Hi. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I don't know if you can see now my character in the screen. Maybe you can't. If you can't, I'm really, really sorry, but uh, whoa. The boot ledger. Legger. I don't know. The booty. The scientist. Excuse me. I remember this place. I was invited here. Something regarding a catalog. My host, Davon Maresk, met me in the study, offering a glass of brandy. Or was it scotch? Some forbidden, carefully crafted dark liquor for certain. He kept the key to that cabinet somewhere upstairs. So probably need to find that key. There. But let me search the entire... This actually looks very good. Click to hide. Who do I need to hide from? That. Excuse you? What was that? Oh, so we have dark entities also wandering around in this house. I don't like that. Locked. Oh. So probably need to find the key for this one. Uh huh. Let's go upstairs, I guess. To find the key. Hooray! Yep. This is so Oh, found the key. Hi. Ooh, what is it? Can I take that and defend myself? Probably not because I'm like a soul, I'm like a spirit. I don't know what I am. Do I need to hide? I don't know. We shared a fair few drinks as we discussed his recent trip abroad to some distant and cold wasteland. After some time, he invited me to the kitchen, seeking my consultation in regard to some strange beast he had come across on his latest expedition. Despite my many attempts at acquiring more information on the creature, my host seemed reluctant to divulge. Or perhaps he was incapable of forming an accurate description. Maybe that's the shadow that I witnessed before. No, I don't want to do that now. So I guess I need to go back. Uh huh. No, can't go back. Can I pick the axe or. I don't know. Ooh, now I can move on. Nice. Excuse me? What was that? After no small amount of effort, he began to describe the creature, first in small parcels, parcels of information, primarily relating to me what the creature was not. But before lo <laughs> what is that sound? But before long, my host's eyes flashed with excitement as he encountered the tale of his capture of whatever it may have been, a wild-eyed sinewy creature of some forsaken continent or another, both lumbering and impossibly fast, glistening on the snow and imperceptible save for the sounds it made. His description of the thing was beyond anything that I had come across in my research, a being that defied the natural order of what I knew to be true. When my host informed me that it was safely caged away in his base, man, what? <laughs> Is this thing down here somewhere? I had no choice. I implored him to show me. I don't wanna see nothing. I just wanna stay here and be happy with it. I don't wanna see no creature. Barricaded. Oh! I need to take the axe, of course. Why I didn't do that before? Hey, are you trying to be a dick, at least? Oh, yeah. Nobody will ever know. 
I'm ready to go, I guess, to unbarricade the door. I found a useful tool. Found a melee weapon. Alright. Woo! I like that. He was angry at first, seething at me through clenched teeth, eyes aflame with accusation. I was unsure of what I had done, and terrified for my life. I believe that Mr. Marescu recognized the fear in my eyes and knew, then, that I was not to blame for whatever had happened. There had been a cage, or rather the remains of one, twisted and wrapped out of its original shape. Had my host not told me what it used to be, I never would have known. After a sudden shift in countenance, directing me to a chamber secreted away in the far side of his quarters. Oh, we are finally came to the basement. Click to hide. Okay. Am I alive? What was that? I don't like that. This freaking thing is actually out. Wandering around, lurking in the shadows, ready to devour me. Oh, that's why this game is named like this. <laughs> I get it now. So, should I go back? I already forgot what should I be doing now. Oh, mid floor? No. Ooh! What? Excuse me? Oh god, need to run. Oh my god. Oh. Am I safe? What kind of music of a tribal is this? Oh god, this is tricky. Oh whew, man. Did I tell you that this game is absolutely awesome? I never played something like this. This is so cool. There had been a great hull, a noise that to me felt like the heavens themselves steering asunder. It felt as if it not was only emanating from the space beyond the door, but from every bit of air around me. In that moment I knew nothing of hesitation. I recalled it with such clarity that I must resist even now the temptation to do as I did then. I made for the guest quarters, intent on gathering my belongings and rushing to the exit without ever looking back. The same pit of dread that knotted my stomach then moves once more in me now. The thing that Maresk had brought back, it was all at once within the house in some physical sense and a part of it in some other unknownable manner. Okie dokie. So now my objective is understandable. I need to get the fuck out of here. Okay. Oh! Oh! Hi. Okay... How can I... I can't really go that way. So how can I leave? Can I really leave? I don't think so! Oh, I remember seeing a door on the left here. From where I took the axe. Yay! That's the one. Okay. I think it's safe. I think we are safe. Oh. My room had to be changed. Something else moved within it. Something alien and malevolent, changing the geometry of the corners each time my eyes were careless enough to stray from them. One moment the small guest room was an enclosure unfit for a house cut, yet in the blink of an eye it had become too large for me to see either wall from what had once been the center of room. In a blind panic I threw myself at the door, scrambling to find purchase in the handle. I clawed for freedom and my breath caught in my throat at the sight of what lay beyond. Stretched across a vast, and moving ocean of nothing, I found myself looking at the private sanction of my host's library. As the blood in my veins froze to ice, I took a tentative step forward onto the wrapped wooden floor. Is that me saying these things? That little soul over there? 
that beautiful bright spirit because I feel so confused of what is happening of what seems to be happening here hide oh no I can hide oh shit no 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 I am devoured. Excuse me? So what did I do now? It's gonna be a taste now. Oh god. I don't like that. Fuck it. Oh! There is my library! This was where it ended. As I reached for a familiar volume with the intent of losing myself in some other traveler's depiction of a foreign land and away my fate lost in fantasy, that's now familiar thrumming sound filled my ears. I recalled instantly how the beast had tore through my men, rending them asunder in a single moment. Almost as though it existed independently of the physical space I could see it in. No sooner had the beast under my side that I felt what I am sure the members of my expedition did in their last moments. My sense of being was pulled from my now unmoving body and I watched from afar as the creature set itself upon my now inanimate body with unmatched ferocity. I run. Still tied. I run. I run. I run. I run. Still tied to this place. I did all I could to escape it. Running until all memory of what had happened left me and I could no longer remember the route to escape. That concern is no more. In this place, I am finally free of this wretched house. Oh, that was it. That was actually very, very well made. I adore that game. I really want to see that in a full version or I want to see more out of this. I really like the scenery and the upside down movement. And I really like the idea of playing as a spirit. And I also like the ongoing story and the three versions of the story. That was actually very, very good and I want to see more in the future. So I'm gonna put the link in the description below for you to play the game. And I would really love if you could share your thoughts about this one and your experiences and if you could finish all the three parts of it because I finished only the third one so I don't know what the other two stories would have said in the end so if you try the game please let me know and with that being said thank you so much for sharing your time with me leave a huge like if you enjoyed this video subscribe for more and I'm gonna see you all soon in the next video bye